Atari, a name that will live on in video game history. In the late 70s, Atari became the fastest growing company of all time. But in the early 80s, everything changed. This is Game Reset, the video game crash of 1983. Before video game consoles existed, there was the great grandfather to video games, the pinball machine. It first became popular in penny arcades in the 1700s. These machines set the stage for video arcades. In 1971, the first commercially popular arcade machine was released, Pong. This would create an explosion that sent video games into the mainstream. This was Atari's first smash hit. In later years, games like Breakout, Space Invaders, and Pac-Man would continue to expand the popularity of video games. But with arcades becoming more popular, it made people want to have a version of these games to play at home. In 1975, Atari released a home version of Pong to critical and monetary success. In 1977, the Atari 2600 was released. This was the first widely popular video game console. The Atari 2600 would continue to be very popular even into the early 80s. After over a decade of success in 1983, Atari was sold and the video game industry crumbled around them. Of course, this didn't happen instantly. Back in 1977, many video game companies went out of business because of the oversaturation of the video game consoles and Pong console clones. Atari felt the pressure of this but didn't waver with big hits from arcade machines made into Atari games such as Space Invaders. It seemed Atari was unsinkable. But in 1980, a company was made by some disgruntled former Atari employees called Activision. It was the first ever third-party game company. Activision realized that it could make games for the Atari 2600 with all the money coming back to Activision. This would release the floodgates for thousands of cheap games to be released on the Atari. Is that everything? That's everything for now. For now, the Atari 2600. Now get up to $30 in rebate offers plus a free Pac-Man. This compounded with the growing home computer market taking away sales from Atari 2600s putting Atari in a tough position. This wouldn't be too much of a problem if Atari held its standard of high quality games, but then two big games would be released by Atari in 1982, Pac-Man and E.T. for the Atari 2600. Pac-Man was released first and ended up becoming Atari's biggest hit ever, selling a whopping 7 million copies. Unfortunately, Atari produced 12 million copies, which at the time was more games than there were Atari 2600 consoles. In the same year, Atari spent $25 million on getting the rights to make an E.T. game for the Atari 2600. E.T. only ended up selling about 1.5 million copies of the 5 million copies Atari produced. The massive losses in funds and very poor quality of both games were two big factors in the selling of the Atari company. Then, in 1985, Nintendo released the Nintendo Entertainment System, or better known as the NES. This system was built to avoid the mistakes that caused the crash of 1983. The Super Mario Brothers and The Legend of Zelda provided two excellent games that helped gain the trust of the consumers. Gyromite and Duck Hunt were two games that were not as critically received, but the inclusion of the Zapper and the Rob toy tricked toy stores that stopped selling video games after the crash into selling NES consoles. <laughs> When you get hold of the Nintendo Entertainment System. When you master Rob the Video Robot. And meet the challenge of Gyromite. When you shoot the light sensing zapper. When you play the system with so many arcade hits. You're playing with power. The Nintendo Entertainment System Deluxe Set. Batteries not included, Super Mario Brothers and other games sold separately. The most important development was the lockout chip. It was a chip that all game developers needed in order for their game to be played on the NES. This made sure that there is no way for a flood of poor games to be released on the NES and that Nintendo would be making money off of third party games as well. Nintendo ended up selling a total of 62 million NES consoles, becoming one of the highest selling consoles of all time. This saved video games as we know it and gave the industry a much needed Game Reset. <laughs>